Hey Simmers and Animal Lovers, it is Erin, the Rescue Simmer, and you are watching the Shelter Play Along. We have a very tense Caleb who is tense about a fire. If you guys watched last episode, we had a fire on the lot while one of our adopters was coming to meet and adopt their cat. Uh, while Blair was here, she was very, very brave and put the fire out, but none of our resident Sims did, so they're kind of unhappy and tense about it. Uh, Hugo is going to take some dogs on a run. Amy is given the kitty some attention. Lionel, who is left, uh, is gonna get some attention from her. She's gonna be cleaning up a little bit. And Caleb is going right now to clean out sick bay. And then he is going to be taking little Miss Leah, who is a sim self of an animal who is actually available for adoption in real life, in her case, from Coastal German Shepherds Rescue in Orange County, California. Caleb is going to be taking her on a stroll today. She's going to be going on an outing that is going to reflect some of her real life experiences. We're going to get a deeper look into her. You guys did get to hear her story when we were voting on her and we referenced back to that once um, during her last gameplay episode, but I want to take a deeper dive and show you guys just a little bit more of Leah. So this is an episode that is all about Leah. We're going to have Caleb take a very excited Leah on a run. You may wonder why she was in sick bay, why she was in the little rescue vet. It's because she had her spay and neuter surgery. She's a female, so she got spayed. Oh, guys, come on, let's get it together. Um, This is gonna, this is gonna glitch. Oh, Leah. Oh man, this is so broken. Oh my goodness. Um, baby, you can't, are you, you are leashed. Like, look at that. She's leashed. Caleb, what you doing, dude? Uh, he did make it a little bit further. That's interesting. All right, guys. So after much resetting, <laughs> we are going to try this again. Um, instead of having them go to a specific place, I think I'm just going to have them jog. All right, perfect. That seems to be going a lot better. While they are jogging, I am just going to remind us of Leah's story. So her rescue writes, Leah came to us a terrified, shut down feral dog whom animal control had confiscated from a very bad situation. She was so shut down, it took a long, long time to get her to allow any type of interactions with humans. We spent month after month earning her trust, socializing her and teaching her to overcome her many fears. Around three years old, she moved from the training facility into a foster home and is doing fantastic, but will need a special adopter. At first, she was scared to enter the house. The tile scared her. It took coaxing for her to enter. Leah now seeks affection, is playing with toys, plays with her human foster, is totally comfortable being inside, crate trained, potty trained, and is learning that the world isn't such a scary place. She even went to the beach for the first time and loved it. So guys, we are here at the beach with Leah. Oh, she's gonna take care of some potty first. Let's pick up the poo. We wanna be responsible owners. And can we send her to explore? Yeah, I think so. So she's gonna have fun digging at the beach. Ooh, in the meantime, there's a kitty here named Viola um, that was just sleeping in this fish pile. I am thinking that Caleb can come and meet her. Oh my goodness, what a dirty Leah. <laughs> yeah. So as you guys can see, while Caleb is meeting Viola, just became acquaintances. Oh, he just became friends with Viola, perfect. Let's praise us Aaliyah. Ooh, Viola is ready to make some kitty babies. Let's adopt Viola because we're going to take her into... <gasps> this dude just stole... Oh my goodness, Pat. Pat adopted some of our little schnauzer mixes. And he's like, uh, thank you. I will take that present that you got. Wait, where's Viola? Viola tried to run away on us. <laughs> but Caleb's like, no, no, no. I need you. Um, I was not expecting to get a cat today. Yes, we want to adopt this pet. Viola is a super cute name. I'm going to have her keep that. Perfect. We are going to have to get her into... Oh, Leah. <laughs> we are going to have to get her into the vet um, to fix and spay and neuter her. I'm going to have Hugo help us out with that. He's going to call Viola. Um, I think she might be too far away, but that's okay. Oh man, she really does need to. We're gonna focus again on Leah today. Look at this stinky gal. She is having the time of her life though. <laughs> Let's have Caleb brush her. Look at how much fun she is having. So she's off leash in this. Um, probably would be taking her on a lunge leash, but we don't really have that in The Sims. I'm actually gonna play a video for you guys of real Leah having a blast at the beach. I am super excited for how well this is going. Real Leah seems to be having 
just the time of her life. And so is Simlia. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna lecture her about barking. And then I do wanna brush her again. It's a really nice little hack if you have pets to be able to use a brush with them instead of a bathtub. So if you only have a shower stall and you don't have a tub, you can brush them twice and it's like giving them a bath. So it's getting late, it's eight o'clock. Caleb is super, super hungry. So I'm gonna have him kind of take her home. We'll wind down for the night. Like I said, it's summer. So he doesn't really have school to get ready for. Oh, poor Leah, she is afraid. So he's just gonna give her some smooches. Oh, she still stinks. We might actually have to bathe her, but I'm gonna have him get her home. Aw, and they're just gonna wind down for the night. We will continue the rest of her story tomorrow. Alrighty guys, it is Thursday morning. The Nunez household is waking up. Let's go ahead and get our volunteers over. Like I said, you guys, I love these volunteer programs, like the volunteer groups. They are super helpful. They help make sure that all of our pets get fed, they get socialized, anything that is broken gets fixed. It's so, so nice. Hugo and Amy are just talking, catching up. Let's have a deep conversation with our wife. I feel like they haven't had a good chance to talk as of late. Looks like both of them are going to go and take care of the animals. Caleb just got out of the shower. He is gonna go comfort Leah. Let's ask Leah to go potty. Oh, it looks like Milani is here. Actually won't have him introduce himself to her because she's a young adult. Caleb actually knows quite a lot of the teens. I was able to play off camera for a few days and it looks like he has a want to flirt with Jeb. I am gonna pin that for him. I don't know when we're gonna see Jeb, but when we do, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna try to see if maybe Jeb is up Caleb's alley. Oh, this, mm, this grill. Let's get rid of the grill. Ooh, Caleb just asked his mom, I really want to be friends with someone, but they don't seem to really want to be friends with me. How can I make them my friend? Would she tell him just keep being friendly or make one grand friendly gesture? I think that she would be like a you can't force people kind of mom. So the one grand friendly gesture, I think would be read as creepy. Uh, so just keep being consistently friendly. Oh, his manners are in the range to earn the good manners trait. Perfect. Of course, it's Caleb. Of course. Let's have him kick a soccer ball with his mom. In the meantime, little Pixel, I don't know if you guys can see that, is jumping with fleas. She has to be examined by the vet. Thank goodness she is here. Pixel is actually one of our pets who, for adoption, um, who is from you guys. I'm gonna see if I can bring it up. She is a couch potato. She's loyal and she's aggressive. Uh, we, her brother, Woody, is a couch potato. So exact carbon copy of her. I'm excited to find her and Woody's owners among you guys' families that you have uploaded to the hashtag ERS shelter play along. Pixel's feeling a little down today. Uh, it looks like she's sad. Aw, poor girl. Um, let's pet her, let her lick our face, let's play with her, and we're gonna scratch her favorite spot. Then we will send her um, to one of these kennels here. I think that she should spend some time in sick bay just to make sure that she's not contagious to Woody. There we go, we'll leash this good girl. Now I'm gonna be looking for her and Woody because they have the aggressive trait. Um, I'm gonna interpret that as being dog selective, maybe not great for a family with young, young kids. It'll be interesting to see who she ends up with. Aw, Caleb's being sweet to Viola. I think what we're gonna do is have Caleb grab Leah. Oh, she's so afraid. It looks like this stereo is on and that is really bugging her. That's understandable. It's a non-organic thing that has a voice. It makes noises seemingly to her all on its own. So we're just gonna turn it off. So her story talks about her being socialized to things. And I know that people tend to think of socialization as like getting used to people, getting used to other dogs, maybe cats, other living things. And that is socialization, but socialization really does mean just getting them used to anything. So socializing could be getting them socialized and used to things like uh, going for a walk in your neighborhood and all of the neighborhood sounds, like cars passing, uh, people jogging. I know with my dog, we had to get her used to the trash truck. It's a very loud thing. Um, on walks, she just had to become used to that being part of our normal walking because sometimes we would go out at the same time that the 
trash truck was picking up trash. You can socialize your dogs to tile floors, like Leah had to be socialized to. You can socialize your dogs to fans, to doorways, to anything that really could become a problem for them. And you really should. Not only should you be socializing your animals to other living things, but you need to be socializing them to a lot of different situations and a lot of different places and objects that they might be coming into contact with. So Caleb is just teaching her to speak. We know that she likes to use her voice, especially as a stress reliever for herself. So I think teaching her to speak and giving her an outlet for that is perfect. One that is prompted by her owner, by her handler, someone that she trusts. Perfect. Caleb has earned pet training level four. He is going to be so ahead of the curve when he gets to high school. You guys, it's summer right now. I can't wait to get to high school. I would love to get Leah to the point where she is socialized enough that we can maybe take her to high school with us. I would be interested to see if you can do that. We do have a couple of days left of this year. I wonder if I might start school a little bit early because I do see one prom and I would like him to have like a junior year and then a senior year. I'm using air quotes, you can't see that, but of prom, it's only a week long, but we shall see how everything pans out. I would really like the next episode to be taking her, seeing if we could take her with us. I will add that her rescue says that while she's your normal energetic Maligator in her foster home, she's still figuring out the world outside of those doors. So she's still being socialized. She spends time every day being exposed to new things, but when she's scared, she does try to bolt. She used to hit the end of the leash and frantically chew to break free, which is why she wears a special kind of collar and uses a special kind of leash. But now when something is new and scary, she bolts and stops when she hits the end of the leash. I'm gonna see if I've set up this obstacle course right to see if maybe she can use it. I don't think I did. She looks like she's going the wrong way. Go on, Leah. You guys had a really great idea. I'd asked you like what you kind of thought when you thought of Leah for her story arc. Uh, you guys had a really great idea that she would do something like police work. Um, and while I don't think that she has the confidence to make her a good fit for that, I do love the idea of giving her a job. So I think maybe a dog that runs obstacle courses would be a great use of her kind of nervous energy and her energy that um, she's just got excess of. So she's really energetic. She has a high toy prey drive. And this is a great use of that. So it looks like she doesn't have any faults. That's really awesome. Leah achieved a perfect run with this course in 33 minutes. Wow, Caleb must be a first class pet training master. I would love to see Leah as an only dog. Her rescue does recommend that she is in a house without small children, probably because small children tend to act in a, in a, way that's not very dependable or predictable for her. And she's a dog that is going to thrive on structure. Now doing things like being an agility dog would be awesome for her. There's a ton of structure in that. Oh, hey, Hugo, <laughs> he's just coming to chill out. Can you like watch? Yeah, let's watch the dog tricks. Can you mentor your son? Is that possible? No, it doesn't look like he can, but Caleb is doing an amazing job. He's gonna go help us out and pay some bills. They have some pretty hefty ones. This new shelter is not any cheaper than the last one was, but Caleb is doing an awesome job. I think so long as we can get her to know all of her tricks, we should be able to try to bring her to high school with us. Now, her rescue mentions that she has made so many strides. So I think that so long as Caleb is with her, he could try to bring her and maybe get her to meet some of the kids there and pique some interest that way for her. And honestly, you guys, she's made so many strides just with Caleb here that I think next episode, we are gonna have Caleb host a bash. Like it is Thursday now. I think Friday would be a great time to be able to host that barbecue. We will get them a grill and I will have to keep a massive eye out on who is watching, or I'm sorry, who is cooking um, on that grill. But I think Caleb would love to have like a 
backyard pool party for all of his friends. He is a party animal sim, so he's going to want to throw a party anyway. And he's already earned two silver social events, so that could be his third. So I will leave you guys here with Caleb. Training sim self Leah. Real Leah is still available for adoption through Coastal German Shepherds Rescue in Orange County, California. So I will leave a link to their pages down below. If you have any interest, go ahead and click on those links. You can see all the other cute faces that they have for adoption. You can keep up with Leah. In the meantime, guys, thank you so much for playing along with me, for submitting your Sims, for clicking on, watching this video, for hitting that like and subscribe button. I so appreciate you. I will see you guys in the next one. And as always, happy simming.